Hey, welcome. I wanted to record a short video and introduce you to um, using Spicy Driver. I wrote a uh, Z Connection video not too long ago about how to use Spicy, and one of the things I kind of skipped over very quickly uh, because it was a very long uh, video to begin with uh, was how to use the Spicy Driver. And uh, I'm going to show you a method that you can use to take Zeke out of the equation. So all you're dealing with is spicy and the bits and the bytes of a trace file. And that way you can dump out some debugging information uh, to the console and so forth. And you'll see it's um, pretty useful. And while I was contemplating making this video, I actually found a spot in the radius protocol analyzer that we built in the last video where what I did was right, but you'll see that it's still kind of a lazy way of programming. And when I did that, it doesn't totally work right with Spicy Driver, and we're just going to touch up the code while we're in there. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so these slides will be available to you and these things that are clickable and copyable and so forth. So this presentation, it builds off of um, the prior presentation and also that source code for the radius protocol analyzer. And like I said, I was quote unquote lazy in my coding. Um, can we find and fix it with these debugging tools? And I'm going to show you that we can. So the first thing you want to do is take the PCAP that we had in that directory. And if you don't have it, you can go check out uh, the GitHub or just download it directly from GitHub at that link. And you open it up in Wireshark. Once you have open up a Wireshark, um, I just went to the first packet, right-clicked on it, said follow UDP stream. When you do that, you get something that looks like this. And it doesn't say show data as raw down here. I forget what exactly what it says, but what you do want it to say is show data as raw. So you have to click on that, and at least on my computer, you have to go way, way, way up to the top and select what raw. Once you do that, it's going to look like garbly gook up here, and all you want to do is save the file as radius.dat. Now, if you don't want to do all this, I understand. I already took this radius.dat and checked it in a directory in that Corelite repository for the protocol, radius protocol analyzer. All right, so that's one prerequisite we have out of the way. The next thing is to use spicy driver you i recommend that you parse units as an array and that's because when you follow tcp or we follow the udp stream it takes all those packets and strips off the ip and udp portions and just leaves us left over with the radius portions but if you think about it they're kind of packed in next to each other so they're just arrays now this is going to hurt nothing by adding this to our code um, functionally it's going to hurt nothing so <clears throat> instead of before we would attach our protocol analyzer to the radius unit here on line two where i'm moving my mouse well we're going to now attach it to a unit called radius messages and it's a new one and it's just three lines down here i just put it on your slide to make it easy for you again all this new code is checked into that repository so um, you can get it there as well so radius messages, all it is is an array of radius units, and I just call them messages. So some other changes that we can put in analyzer.spicy to kind of hunt down this um, lazy bug that I'm talking about is we can add some debugging. And usually what I do is I go into the units that I care about, and I add something like this, on init, print whatever the unit is, and whatever variables I'm interested in here we're just going to print everything about ourself and then I'm done so basically when it comes in it tries to start parsing and when it ends on successful parsing I print these messages just to see what the uh, variables will look like and I did the top one for the radius and I did the bottom one for attribute value and here on the right hand side um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video but if you'll have access to this the PDF slides um, this is what it looks like in context. So the error is going to be here somewhere around 25, 26, line 25, 26. I did something that we can easily change and make our lives a little easier. And we're going to find it with these debugging statements. 
All right, so how do we run this? Well, spicy driver is pretty simple. What I did is I said cat and this radius.dat that we created with Wireshark earlier, or you can just get it out of the repo. But if you do this with your um, analyzers that you're creating, um, you're going to be able to, you're going to have to create these dat files. So you might want to practice on the radius because it's pretty simple. So once we have this data, we just cat it out and pipe it into spicy driver. The dash D, if I recall correctly, turns off some optimizations and so forth. So it should be a little faster compilation wise or compilation wise. <clears throat> and then uh, we call out our script analyzer.spicy. And then we want to say which unit we want to parse with. So we're parsing with the dash P, Zeke spicy radius, radius messages that we created. All right, let's go ahead and move to the next slide. So if we run this command line, and I apologize if you can't see this in the video, again, the slides will be attached to this, so you can um, view them and zoom in. But I tried to give you uh, just a little flavor. At the bottom, what you see at the bottom is it says terminating with uncaught exception of type spicy parse error, ampersand size amount not consumed, spicy line 43. So. Um, basically, if you go back into that line and you do some tracing, you see that the attribute values just seem to be eating up more and more data. And you sit there and you go, well, why? Why is it? Why is it doing that? And let me tell you why. Let's see if I can go back to my slide here. Where did I put it? Okay, here. Uh, lines 25 and 26. Do you see this EOD? That means parse this until the end of the data. What's happening is it's getting super greedy and literally parsing until the end of the data. So what we want to do is put a little constraint on this that says only parse this for a certain amount. And since we have the length up here, we can use that length down here to say how far we want it to parse. Now, I kind of snuck it in here that I added a requirement on the length and I'll talk about it again. But if you add up code, ID, and length, this all equals 20 bytes. So we know our length has to be greater than or equal to 20 bytes always if we're going to have a valid unit. So I added that requires in here, so that way the parser knows about that. Um, okay, so we're going to take this length, and instead of saying EOD down here, we're going to take this length and plug in um, the information down here, which would just be length minus 20. That's how much data we're going to give to attribute values. All right. All right. So this is the side we're on with the errors. So our changes are going to be this. You see the left-hand side, we got the EOD that I just talked about. And on the right-hand side, we got size equals self.length minus 20. Now we plug that in, we run our spicy driver command again, and boom, it goes all the way to the end and we see it Radius done parsing. So everything looks good. We don't see any uncaught exceptions. Um, I just wanted to talk about add length requirement. I added this in here just because I know I'm subtracting 20 here. So if it's 10 and I subtract 20, this thing is going to overflow and cause issues and put um, some marks in my logs and so forth. So let's just go ahead and say it requires this. And then that way, if we hit a link that is smaller than this, it knows it's not a valid unit. This is usually where I take questions, but since this is pre-recorded, I will invite you to go to the open source Slack server for Zeek. I'm there under my name, Keith Jones, and feel free to hit me up in any of the general channels. I'm always in the spicy channel, so if you at me there, I'm happy to answer any questions, and I'll say I'm by far an expert on spicy driver. I've learned this from other people, so um, you know, if I can't help you with your spicy driver questions, I probably know the people that can. So hope you enjoyed this video, and um, you know, feel free to take a look at the other videos that I've been putting out on Zeke as well. Take care.